All right, what's going on, everybody? I am Master Zerg, and today I will be bringing you a video on all of the, or most of, the basic unit counters. So these are going to be uh, unit versus unit matchup, say roaches versus marauder matchup, versus more unit composition type matchups, where you have several different units and counters to those. That video will be coming in a few days. Now, to start off, <clears throat> a little tip, in case you don't know, is... This it right here is the Legacy of the Void unit tester. If you type in, in the arcade, L-O-T-V unit tester, you will find this. And this is one of the most helpful ways to practice lots of different things, either um, practicing how to micro units or even practicing just random things that you might want to try in the game. So getting into it, we will start off with Protoss on the left and Terran on the right. So one huge, huge counter is if you have, let me get the right upgrade storm. If you have like five Templar or so, and then uh, for Terran you have like 20 Marines, we'll go with that. It doesn't really matter how many. Let's hope, all right. And then you go over and you use storm. If you if you just look at that, it you can, you can see that Templar, <laughs> Templar, pretty darn good against Bio. So, uh, and that counts with Marauders as well, um, and really a lot of units. But Templar, really good against light units. So Marines are light biological, so they're good against biological light units, things like that. Um, like three, four storms on an entire army will just shred it, demolish it. So another, and we're we're just going through the basics. So another good counter to Terran units is and this is this is providing the fact that you have um i mean bailing is probably not just gonna sneak up on units so if we split them prior to the fight and then send them in you know and we we say oh yeah fight this you know the bailings are just gonna shred through the tear units so again a very a very large counter right there so and you might be wondering like oh well when are you ever really gonna see this a lot of times this, this, the reason why I'm showing you this is because a lot of times in games, um, you might have situations where you can do these type of things, where say the other person has Marine Marauder and maybe some Medivacs, Bailings will shred through that and it's good to have some units to buffer for that as well as High Templar, good to have units to buffer for that. High Templar would be like Zealots and Stalkers buffering for the High Templar and some Immortals, and then for Zerg it would be like Zerglings and uh, mainly just Zerglings to buffer for the Bailings. The Bailings aren't even your huge, huge, um, damage dealer in that situation, but they kind of force the Terran to move. Um, another really good counter, we have, if you go um, Stalkers on one side and Marauders on the other, 15 of each, so I'm just going to send them into each other, and you'll, you'll see. So these guys are armored and biological, these guys are armored and mechanical, however, Marauders are the counter to Stalkers. and. It might seem like in this situation, like, oh, like, it's pretty even, but um, if you think about the unit comps, you have, and if you look here, it looks very even. However, if you look at the unit compositions, um, Marauders, and I'll show you that example, so that was pretty even, but if you add, and if you also, I didn't even do that with Stim, um, so if you look at it with Stim, I'll show you real quick. We'll show it again. If you stim into this engagement, you know, like, the Marauders will shred through the Stalkers very, very easily. If you stim again, like, you know, just, like, they counter them. It, if it's in a straight up fight, like, early on, then yes, the Marauders might have some difficulty, but overall, they're, they're much better. And then if you add, like, Marines to one side, Zelts to the other, the Zealots are still not going to get as much done as they need to um, against the Stalkers as the, the stimmed bio would, especially with medevacs involved and all that. So another thing, oh, that's way too many. Another one I want to show you, six Archons or so, and we'll put a bunch of Zerg, it's like a bunch. So if you have this, if you seven to attack each other, the Archons are literally just going to shred, and, and I mean that in the most literal way I can, they are just going to rip through the Zerglings. Like, Zerglings at that point, when, when the other person are Archons, Zerglings are almost obsolete in that situation um, to fight in the main army, except maybe to buffer damage. Again, like, you're just not going to get much done. Um, another thing to keep in mind is for air units, you have maybe, I know a lot of people struggle with uh, going air and stuff like that. So if you have Mutas on one side and Void Rays on the other, 
Void Rays have their Prismatic Alignment. This does more damage against armored units, six damage against armored units. And Mutalisks are light, so this isn't going to do as much damage to Mutalisks. But Void Rays and their constant damage does do a lot more damage than Mutalisks will do. Now, technically, um, Mutalisks, some, it's, it's hard to say because the, the exact, if you have the same amount of um, Void Rays to Mutas, then it usually is pretty, pretty uh, a big deal. However, Mutalisks technically, and I'll show you guys in a little bit um, where you can go to find a, like a solid guy, but Mutalisks technically count on Void Rays. Um, if you have a, because usually you'll have a lot more Mutalisks than Void Rays. Void Rays are a lot, take a lot longer. Mutalisks are kind of abundant and you can kind of keep them going. So if you do something like this and you have the Mutalisk, if you focus fire, you know, the, the splash damage is going to do way more damage in the end. Um, and you'll be able to kind of finish off the, the Void Rays a little easier. Um, another, the, probably in my opinion, one of the biggest counters, so you will see that these guys finish them off. But one of my favorite counters to Void Rays, assuming it is just Void Rays, is going to be Hydralisks. That's too many Hydras. But, I, I mean, this is pretty accurate, so we'll go with that. Hydralisks, you'll see really quickly, they just, they, they rip through Void Rays in an almost absurd fashion, that going Hydras is just a really good option. Now, when the other player starts going into Carrier, Carriers do counter Hydralisks and Mutalisks, so you want to be able to switch into... Corruptors. And these and again, the reason why I'm putting more on the Zerg side and less than the Protoss side is because usually Zerg will have more units than the, the Protoss. Carriers are very expensive. Now, even this is a little. Um, this is pretty accurate. If you focus fire with the Corruptors, they will do a lot more damage. If you have the, the um, if you have Corruptors hitting the Interceptors, you are going to not get as much value as you want. Now. Interceptors don't necessarily actually do that much damage. It's when you have Void Rays charging up against Corruptors that you're going to really start taking a lot of damage to your units. That's why you have some Mutas come in. Every now and then you have Vipers come in, but that's a little more uh, on the long side. Now again, this was a very outnumbered, and when I say, if you look, this might not look outnumbered, but 10 Carriers versus um, 20 Corruptors is still going to be inaccurate. You're probably going to have, like... I would say at least 25 Corruptors to their 10 Carriers, um, and you'd have like Mutalisks, stuff like that. But again, this is just simple unit compositions, just to give you an idea. And of course, I'm not doing it overwhelming in one in one side's favor, just because I want to show you that they're, just because the unit counters a different unit does not mean they will win the fight every single time. Now, another um, quote counter is going to be Lurkers versus... Um, that's too many Marauders. <laughs> Lurkers versus bio units, something like that. So again, assuming you don't have vision, like you can just see the amount of damage they do. So again, they do so much damage to these light units and stuff like that. And to clarify, when I say unit counter, of course, like I said like a, um, 30 seconds ago, unit counters are the unit that you would pick to kind of force the other person to switch. But if the other person has a lot more or has uh, a higher unit value of those units, it's possible that your units overall, say if you have mutas versus uh, void rays, if they have 10 void rays and you only have like 15 mutas, the void rays are going to win that fight. And therefore, you are not going to actually be forcing him to really change much. You might kill some of his units, but he can really just tech up into whatever. Um, again, another uh, pretty... Pretty nice counter is, I mean, I'm not going to go through every single one, but look, if you look at disruptors, they'll do a lot of damage to bio units. Clumped up light units is really um, huge. So the last thing I want to show you before I end the video is going to be the help option. And I'll show you where that is. So if you go into your menu and you go to this help button, and then you go down to the void multiplayer, so if you look at, there's a Protoss, Terran, and Zerg units button. If you hover over them and you click on them, the Zealot, it shows you what it's strong against and what it's weak against. These are its, quote, counters. So it counters Marauders, Zerglings, and Immortals, immortals and it's weaker against Owlbats, Roaches, and Colossus. So some people say it counters such and such. However, just because, I mean, you can have, like, ten Zealots, that does not mean that you're going to instantly kill like 30, 35 Zerglings. So you have to keep in mind, just because it is strong against that, some some of these mean that it is 
better equipped to deal with those units, and sometimes it means that they physically counter them because they do extra damage to them. Like, if you look at Immortals, they're strong against Cyclones, Roaches, and Stalkers because they do more damage to Armored, and that's just something that comes with that unit. It's not necessarily going to show it here. Uh, no, it doesn't. So it doesn't actually show the... Oh, it does. So damage is 20, but versus Armored, it's 50. So they do 30 extra damage to Armored, um, so you can hover over their weapons damage as well to see that. And then they're weaker against Marines, Zerglings, and Zealots because, because you'll have a mass amount of those, and it makes it a little harder. But if you go here, you'll be able to see the full list of things, and you can really kind of get to see uh, what you know counters what. But again, keep in mind, that doesn't mean that you will instantly win that engagement with those units because they are better. But in the end, I hope this helps you out. Um, I'll be making a, a more in-depth and more advanced guide for uh, unit uh, compositions and their counters, and kind of go to a little bit more depth, so I'll show a couple of video examples, and hopefully you'll get, be able to catch on to those as well. But thank you guys for watching this video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. Comment down below another, um, if any, you have any other uh, unit co counters, and then again, if you have any unit composition counters you want, to be, uh, you want me to show you um, that you might be struggling with or you want to reaffirm. And that's going to be all for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.